Lucy E. Parsons was a leading figure in American anarchism and the radical labor movement. Born a slab near Waco, Texas, she married Albert R. Parsons who had become a white radical Republican after serving first as a Confederate soldier. In 1873 Albert and Lucy to move to Chicago in 1873 where they became involved in radical labor organizing. Thirteen years later she rose to national fame when she embarked on the speaking tour to raise money for her husband who was one of nine men tried and sentenced to be executed for following the Haymarket Square bombing which killed a Chicago policeman. The ABB attempted to organize from inside the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League and advocated a policy of critical support for its leader, Marcus Garvey. ABB leaders Briggs and Claude Mackay participated in the UNIA's 1920 and 1921 international conferences in New York. The ABB became highly critical of Garvey following the apparent failure of the Black Star Line and Garvey's July 1921 Atlanta meeting with Grand Clego Clark of the Ku Klux Klan. In 1892 Lucy briefly published a periodical, Freedom, a revolutionary anarchist communist monthly. She was often arrested for giving public speeches or distributing anarchist literature, while she continued championing the anarchist cause. She came into ideological conflict with some of her contemporaries, including Emma Goldman, over her focus on class politics over gender and sexual struggles. In the early 1920s the African Blood Brotherhood was dissolved, due to an aggressive absorption campaign by the Communist Party, which ABB leaders also belonged to with its members merged into the Workers' Party of America and later into the American Negro Labor Congress. Many early ABB members, however, went on to be key Communist Party cadres for decades. Thank you for watching.